Welcome back to our channel, Rest and Dust. I'm Ryan. And I'm Jess. And I'm Tobias. <laughs> Good job, buddy. In this video, we're going to take a dresser from painted black to lightened wood. We're going to change the base up a little bit for zero bucks and add some new drawer slides. So let's do this. We started by cleaning the piece and removing all of the hardware. We made some repairs to the drawers using tight bond wood glue and some clamps. We removed the piece of decorative trim across the front just using a multi-tool and it pried right off really easily. We used the same multi-tool to scrape off all that loose chippy paint. We usually try to link all of the tools and products that we use down in the description, uh, but sometimes we miss things. So if you have a question about a tool that we use or questions about certain techniques, just feel free to leave us a comment and we'll get back with you. We sanded off the paint and the original finish. First, we knocked it down with the 80 grit to get off the thick layers and then smoothed it all out with a 120. We sanded off the drawer faces and touched up on the sides of the drawers where some of the wood was a little rough. It takes a while to sand all these old pieces down to the bare wood, um, even when they just have existing finish on them, but especially when they have layers of paint. It's a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of time, but the like raw wood, lightened wood, bleached wood, natural wood look is so popular in our area. Whenever we do a piece like this, it tends to sell pretty quickly. So even if it's a lot of work, we always love the way it turns out and it usually ends up being worth it. We used JB Weld's quick wood to fill in the holes where the previous hardware used to be in the top two drawers because we knew we wanted to relocate the hardware spots 
And Quickwood is a two-part epoxy um, that comes with the dark color and the light color just in a tube and you pinch off a small amount and mix it together until the two colors blend completely and it's just one solid color. And then you just fill in the holes and want to make sure that you get it pushed down in there completely until you fill it on the other side. Um, you want to have quite a bit extra coming over the top so then you can go back and sand it down to get a smooth finish and not be able to see those holes at all. We decided for the base of this piece, we wanted to give it more of a sleek look uh, and low cost. Since the base was good on this, we just kind of traced out an outline and trimmed it down to a design we liked a little better. We used both the Craftsman circular saw and the Craftsman jigsaw to cut these lines on this base. I decided for the long straight part, it would be easier just to cut it with the circular saw. Then I overguessed my line and cut it a little too far and had to fill it in and patch it a bit. To patch it, we took a piece of scrap wood and glued it into the opening and then I used a combination of tight bond wood glue and some of the sawdust kind of make a paste to fill in the seam. We sanded down the edges to smooth out the cut lines. It's not perfect, but pretty close. We also gave a good scuff sand to the rest of the base since we were just gonna paint the base later anyways. The side panel and the strip that goes under the top of this dresser had separated, so we added some wood glue in there to, and a clamp to tighten it back up. Once the quick wood had hardened, we sanded it down to have a nice smooth finish on the drawers so you wouldn't even know the previous hardware was there. We taped off the base of the dresser so that we could apply primer to it. 
we were planning to use a spray can of primer, so we added paper so that the overspray wouldn't get on the dresser at all. And then we, of course, realized that we were almost out of the spray can and only had enough for the top two drawers. So this was really unnecessary. And if you've seen the video we recently posted of the coffee bar makeover, you know that we don't really love this primer and we had tried it for the first time, so we weren't planning on buying more. We used Kiehl's Premium 3 Heavy Duty Stain Blocking Primer to paint over the base and just prevent any of that remaining finish from peeping through the paint. Once the primer had dried, we just lightly sanded the base and the drawers. I believe I used 320 on this just because I like it. For this dresser makeover, we're using Dixie Bell's chalk mineral paint in the color Sandbar. And for some parts of the dresser, we're using the paint in full force, just straight out of the can. And for the majority of the dresser, we diluted it with a 50 to 50 ratio of water to create a wash. When you mix the paint and water together, it should be a really thin consistency like this. And we even usually apply some water to the piece before we apply the wash. Paint it on with a brush, let it sit for just a little bit, and then wipe it back with a cloth. And typically we like to work in sections just so the paint doesn't stay on there too long. And this ends up basically being a stain so that you can still see the wood grain, but it lightens the wood and gives it a nice color. And like I said, we just applied the paint straight out of the can to the top two drawers and to the base. So the color would match with the wash and Ryan and I were applying the paint and the wash at the same time. And yes, we've learned how to work together really well. And if you like this furniture flip, we would love it if you would just hit the like button, leave us a comment telling us what you thought about the piece. And we post new videos of furniture flips every Friday and we would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to the channel and just hit that notification bell so we'll be notified every time we post a video. We applied two coats to the painted areas, giving it time to dry in between, and just did a little bit of light sanding for the wash pieces. We only did one coat and just did a little light sanding afterwards. And once all of that was dry, we applied two layers of top coat using Dixie Belle's clear coat in the satin finish and applying it with a sponge applicator. Three of the drawers on this dresser had broken drawer slides, so we looked into purchasing some wood ones to replace them. It was way too expensive for what we wanted to spend, so we decided we'd try and make our own. I trimmed these boards down to the approximate thickness, and then we switched the blade out to a dado stack to trim the groove out of the center so the drawer could slide in and out freely. 
And if you don't know what a dado stack is, it's just basically a stack of blades that go on your table saw so you can cut out wider grooves through the piece of wood. We then use some wood glue to spread out on the bottom of these and attach them to the drawers. And this is what it looks like when you find all types of random stuff with some weight to hold down the glue in the drawers because we didn't have any kind of clamp that would work for this situation. We found some hardware that was the same width as the original hardware. So except for the top two drawers, we got lucky and didn't have to drill any holes. We got this hardware jig off Amazon and it comes in handy when drilling hardware on these drawer faces. Just as a reminder, this is what the piece looked like with its black, scratch, chipping paint, and original Chippendale hardware. Now let's take a look at the final result. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you did just go ahead and give us a like and you can subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified every friday that we post a video stay tuned for the next flipping video <laughs>
In this video, we're gonna take a painted black dresser to light wood, changing something to another to the other thing, and then back again, <laughs> around the corner and down the slide. Okay, new plan. <laughs> We're gonna change out the base for zero bucks and make our orange orange slades. I was oh, almost, almost there, perfect. so close. 